Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Tiffany and I make videos about my life. So I asked you guys to send me questions about college on my Instagram. Thank you so much for asking all of those questions. I'm so excited to dive into them. Before I start, I want to say thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. Ana Luisa is a sustainable jewelry company and they were nice enough to send me a couple of their pieces and one of them is this very beautiful necklace. Ana Luisa was founded by a jewelry designer who worked for brands like Alexander Wang, Celine, and Chloe, and he took all of his expertise and his connections and created his own brand that sells direct to consumers and has no luxury markups. The prices range from $39 up to higher end prices, and I feel like this is a really good price point for students like me who are balling on a budget but want to spice up their wardrobe. Besides their really stunning jewelry, what I love about Ana Luisa is that sustainability is at the core of their mission. So all their products are made with clean, recyclable, and low impact materials. They offset their carbon emissions 100%, and also they're very transparent about their materials, sourcing, and carbon footprint methodology on their website, which I really love. So thank you so much to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video, and if you're interested in getting some of their pieces, definitely check out the links that I have down below. They're having this awesome Black Friday sale that you don't want to miss out on. And without further ado, we'll dive right into the questions. So I have three categories of questions. The first one is questions about college, then questions about computer science, and then questions about Stanford. I'll put timestamps for all of the questions so you can see what questions I'm answering and jump around if you'd like. So the first question is, what is the fundamental difference between college and high school? College and high school are very different. In college, I feel like you have way more freedom to choose what you want to do. So you can choose what classes you want to take, you can choose what major you want to take, you could even choose if you want to go to college or not. Another big difference is that the people who are there are from all over the world and it just opens up your network to so many more people. It was a great chance to meet people who you wouldn't have met just living in your town from high school. The last thing I want to say is personally I found college much more challenging than high school. There are just more concepts to learn, you have less time, you're learning faster and it was, it's definitely more challenging academically. The next question is, have you ever decided to switch your major? Yes, definitely. I have switched my major so many times. You guys might not know this, but I went into college thinking that I would be a film major and bioengineering double major. <laughs> and that definitely did not come true. I ended up being a computer science major with a minor in classics, which is basically the opposite of what I intended to do. I also came into college thinking that I would be an ophthalmologist, a doctor, and now I want to be a product manager and potentially an entrepreneur. So people in college definitely change their minds, paths change, you have new interests, you're growing up. I feel like it's really hard at 18 to know what you want to do for the rest of your life. So college is a really great way to explore different majors, take different classes, and decide on what you want to pursue. How many hours of sleep did you get? This is a funny question because <laughs> I did not get very much sleep in college. I probably averaged around six hours a day. Um, the reason I got six hours is because I was on the rowing team and I was a computer science student, and that just does not mix super well because if you're a computer science student, you're gonna be staying up all night coding. And if you're a rowing athlete, you're going to be waking up early. And I definitely always felt very, very tired. This was just a sacrifice that I was willing to make in order to do everything that I wanted to. So in the end, I survived it and it's all right. So then I got a few questions about networking slash internships. So what is the best way to network in college and how do you find internships and other connections? Ooh, I think I have a few tips here. The first is really lean on friends. So if you have any upperclassmen friends, if they've had internships, perhaps they can refer you or guide you on which internship you should pursue. Second is I feel like a lot of freshmen do research on campus. That's what I did my freshman year. So if there are any professors that you know who are needing interns for the summer, definitely email them, reach out, say that you're a freshman and you're looking for opportunities. Most will be very happy to have you. Another tip I have is going to career fairs. So just type up your resume, maybe have a friend look it over. Just go up to people and say, hi, this is why I want to work here and this is why I'm qualified and maybe you'll land an interview. So the next question is, what is your favorite college memory? And I have so many good memories from college because honestly, it was such a good time and I met so many good people. But I guess if there's one that really sticks out, it's 
my senior year when we won the national championship for the lightweight rowing team. It was just so amazing, a good feeling, something I've been working for for four years. And we also broke a national record, which also felt really amazing. So that's just one memory that I just will always hold dear and close to my heart. What's your favorite part about college? So the one thing I'll take away from college over, you know, what I learned in class or what I learned on the rowing team is the friends who I will talk to forever and always have a close connection with. I met my best friends at college and some really, really, really quality people. I've learned so much from my friends and they'll be my friends forever. So thoughts on grad school. After you're finished with college, you know, some people go off to grad school and some people don't. I chose to because I personally didn't know what I want to do yet. I didn't want to jump right into a career. I also found this program, the sustainability program, that really aligned with my interests and passions. But I think it's also totally valid to just jump right into your career. There are so many people who are seniors and they just get a great software engineering job or go off to do some consulting somewhere and they never looked back and that's totally fine. But I feel like there's no right or wrong answer. It's just like, do you have the funds to do it? And are you really interested in staying longer in school? Because at this point, you've been in school for many, many years. Okay, and now we're going to move on to the computer science questions. So the first question in this category is, what was your hardest class? And I would say the hardest class I took is the last computer science class I took, which was CS110. This was a systems class, very difficult, long hours. I would definitely spend like 40 hours on each P-set, and we had one P-set a week. But even though it was really hard, I actually found it to be my favorite class, not only because the instructors were just so nice and caring, but I also met some incredible friends who I still talk to today. And I feel like I really learned how to be tough and how to just like grind through something. Is computer science just about programming? So I feel like a lot of computer science is programming. You will have assignments and projects where you do have to code in order to finish. But there's also another aspect of computer science which talks about how humans interact with computers. That's less of coding and more of just like analyzing our new digital world and how computers play a role in human society today. So I took a class on social computing and we learned all about how to build social networks and how Facebook and Instagram came about. And that's all tied into computer science. So in summary, yes, mostly programming, but not all programming. What types of personalities slash mindsets would you recommend for CS? You definitely have to be persistent because coding projects take a long time and you're going to hit a lot of walls and you're going to have to figure out how to solve them yourself. You have to be really good with uncertainty. A lot of times the questions on the assignments that they give you will not make any sense and half of the problem is understanding what they're asking you in the first place. I feel like you also have to be really hardworking. Problem sets are really long and classes are really tough and there's a lot of people who are going to know how to do things better than you. So you have to be really hard working to keep up and put in a lot of time towards your assignments. What made you choose CS? Would you choose it again? Are you happy? This is such a good question. Like I said before, I wasn't a CS major coming into college. And what really made me choose CS in the end was I took the Intro to CS class and I actually really liked it. I didn't realize that computer science was even like within my reach because I was always like a biology kid and I wanted to be a doctor. So I took it and I was like, oh, this could be, this could be my major. I also just think computer science is super cool and a lot of things that we do today are related to computer science in some way from like typing on our computer to going on Google to turning on the TV. That's why I chose computer science. So the last question in this category is I recently got selected for a computer science degree. My question is what advice would you give to a fresher like me? Ooh, okay. You're starting out your journey in computer science. I would say Good for you for knowing what you want to major in as a freshman because I actually did not declare until my junior year. I think my advice to you would be there may be some times where you feel like you can't make it through or this assignment is just too hard or this major is too hard but stick with it. You'll get through it and it's going to be totally fine and I believe in you. Okay, those are all the questions in the computer science category and now the last category is going to be questions about Stanford. So the first one is, do you like Stanford? Well, 
The answer is yes. I love Stanford and that's why I've stuck around for so many years. It comes down to a few things for me. The first thing is, like I was saying before, just the friends. You meet so many amazing people and friends that you will stay friends with for life. The second is Stanford has a lot of monetary support for whatever you want to do. So they'll have a lot of grants for you if you want to do some research, so they'll just give you money to do that. Most of my internships that I did over the summer were sponsored by Stanford. Like I went to Hawaii for one summer, I worked on a farm, they gave me a stipend for that. I did an internship in a biology lab and they gave me an in they gave me a stipend for that. I also flew to China to do some cool computer science project and they paid for everything, like my food, my housing, my flight. And they're just very generous with their students. If you show that you want to do something or have a need for something, most likely Stanford will give you funding for that. So that is probably one of the biggest perks of being a Stanford student. Here's a juicy one. How is the food at Stanford? I would say the food is on the whole pretty good. I was actually a vegetarian for the first two years of college and it was really easy within Stanford's dining system to be vegetarian. They always had a vegetarian option. So they definitely have a diversity of food. They also, in one of the dining halls, have a burrito bar, which is incredible. They have that every single night. And one of the dorms serves Indian food every Sunday. They call it, it's Flomo, and they call it Flomindian, which is really cool. I feel like I don't have many complaints. Good job, Stanford. Have you seen any famous people at Stanford? Hmm, so I know there's a lot of like famous people who go to Stanford or like kids of famous people who go to Stanford, but I've never personally seen any. I think I did see like Foxface from The Hunger Games, but that's the only person I've seen in person. It's not like a huge deal to be like a celebrity or like a kid of a celebrity at Stanford. It doesn't like make the news or anything. Thank you again for sending in all the questions. They're way more than I was expecting. If you like this video, definitely make sure to leave me a thumbs up. Let me know if you want me to do another QA on maybe a specific topic or if you want me to do a part two of this. I also want to say thank you so much for all of you guys just in general for watching my videos. Recently my channel has been going a lot so I thank you guys all for watching my videos. And lastly, I just want to say thank you again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check out my link below if you want to check out their Black Friday sale and get some beautiful pieces like this. I'll see you guys in the next video and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.